so much knockback, so much damage from the C4s. We're going to see actually some really interesting offstage edge guarding as well. Uh, the, the Cypher able to be taken out by the Nikita so easily. So I feel like the first player to get knocked off into the upbeat is probably going to be struggling. And MVD donning the green camouflage, Salem playing the all-black snake. We're going to see, of course, who now, and right now, of course, MVD with such smart grenade play. But both players are, are avoiding them pretty well, to be honest. Yeah, you're going to see a lot of counter plays around the very uh, linear horizontal throws of the grenades themselves. You can really drop them and throw them forth, kind of limited at that point. Going to be a two and a half second timer on those. Right, and on, I think what's going to speak a lot for this match is who can actually edge guard better. Snake's up smash is a great um, edge guarding tool. It becomes like almost a ledge trap. When you try to snap to the ledge, if he charges the up smash long enough, it'll actually land right as your invincibility on the ledge goes away. You so back to that in with a grenade and you have a forced ledge option. So many layers there. You have the mortar, as you mentioned. You can step back into an up tilt as well. So I've many seen. great options for Snake to kill from. And of course, at Nimbus, I've seen that's when Salem sort of made his big debut with Snake. He was so good at landing more than any other Snake. I feel these aerials, and right now, only at 49% taking a clean first stock. Yeah. Actually, using way more of those explosives to its advantage, and those aerials are, I think, MVD calm a little off guard. Yeah, landed into the center stage C4 from Salem, and Salem, you're going to see him just really reset to, uh, to the, the side of the barrier. Forward throw. Okay, so a forward throw, almost hitting the nair, but Salem missing there. Using the Cypher to try to chase MVD's high recovery, too. I'm really interested to see how these two players use that. Ooh, great up smash from MVD, but it's not going to be quite up to kill. Nikita, so reliable. Will he chase it? Salem risking it all to go for a dash attack, and it seemed to work in his favor. And right now, MVD doing a stare down. Up smash fully charged. Won't be enough. That goes so high, but the Cypher goes even higher. Yeah. You mentioned that dash attack. Full intangibility on the arms, a great approach option in this matchup. And when you use a Cypher in that bubble in midair, you can also be reversed, but the way the bubble refracts to the player's camera, it's really, really hard to tell what it's going to be. And Salem doing a forward throw into a grenade, finding very, very easy percent hits right there. The down smash, or down throw into up tilt, confirm at high percents. Great kill from MVD there to center back the game. Yeah, you can look at these percents. Anytime a player gets above 159, that's when you know you have to watch out for that grab. So it's exactly 159, is the, that's the way it works? Yes, correct. MVD uh, mentioned that before, before this set began, before this tournament began, that's where that, that combo connects. What makes it more deadly is that that's full rage of that combo too, so it's like you, you can die pretty early from it. Oh, for sure. If you're able to get the read off of the roll off there, obviously. But as the damage increases, your time on the ground increases from the down throw. We see MVD about 3% away from it now. Take a shot every time you see an explosion, and you won't be out very long. I was like, please don't. You will not. I'm already dead. The dead. I'm already. I'm already comatose. All right, more grenades coming out here. Right now, MVD is at very high percent. It's risking him to approach, but I think one more grenade might actually kill him here. And that's the interesting thing about it is that Salem doesn't have to approach. We talked about how good that down throw is, but yeah. if he wants to just sit here and build this damage as he holds on to control, he's able to do that. He doesn't have to overcommit. And there's the down throw. Wow, he's almost doing like a Bayo style with Snake, where it's just like non-committal is so powerful in that situation. And right there, he has a full stock lead, and now on top of that, 41% to boot. It looks like Salem's catching MVD a little off guard, but it's only the first game. Still a lot of time to adapt. We'll see what happens. Yeah, these are two characters. This is a character that obviously can be changed and adapted quite a bit with all these different projectiles and these explosions of using it, how just this damage output comes as well. And three times already, Salem has done Nikita into dash attack. It seems to cover every option on ledge there. And MVD now at kill percent. A backer, what wow. in the world? Yeah. All right, Salem. With Off it. the backboard comes Salem with that last yeah. stock. That was pretty filthy. That was a very dominating game one. MVD probably not expecting that, but he knows he's been in the same spot before. Whether it's a ditto, whether it's another character, there are how many? I think 78 matchups and counting in this game to learn. Too many. Uh, uh, I think uh, apart from some random Dragon Ball game or, or some random Naruto game, this is the fighting game. Definitely the active fighting game with the most matchups. I'm going to need uh, the meta to go ahead and clear out uh, in the early stages. That way I need to only learn about 25 characters and be like, all right, this is it. No other craziness. <laughs> Unlike other games where all about only about you know eight to ten characters are viable. In this game, you know, apart from like maybe like Little Mac and some would say Kirby, it seems that every character, if you have like enough know-how, there's been such great balance. Every character seems deadly and viable. 
given the right person and the right hands. Yeah. That's what makes this so fascinating to see, but that's what makes it so much harder for these players to learn everything. And that's the nice thing, you know, it's not the shenanigans of Smash 4 where it's like, oh, I just need to get rage and then I'll shine spike or I'll, I'll do up there, up air and hoo ha. You know, it's really just the fact that each character has unique mechanics that allow them to counterplay. It really is pound for pound loading. Great tech from MVD. Salem loving to use. Oh, oh those, uh, those uh, aerials from Snake. But I think that forward smash is so powerful, you might as well go for a few of those in the middle of neutral. If one hits, that's all you need. And yeah, that RPG kill so early. You see the initial hit of the F-Tilt there. He actually did a charge up smash, only the first hit of F-Tilt to stun him to almost hit the rest of that up smash. That was very clever. We see the grenades. We see a lot of explosions on the screen right now. This is going to be interesting to see this layout of Town and City, too. Almost FD-esque. Oh, went for the down throw setup, but so many grenades are involved right now that it seems that the strings won't even connect at this point. Salem with a pretty significant lead at this point, looking at just a little bit more damage before that down throw confirmed becomes online. MVD now at full rage, but also at that magic percent where the setups will kill the down throw. Yeah, just cross the threshold here. Has to be very careful. Cannot overcommit to any approach options. The micromanagement here is very, very impressive. The side B almost killing. Great DI from MVD. Staple of his play. And now he takes the first kill. Killing Salem at 129 at full raise. But he's staying at 173. Anything will come at this point. Yeah, that's the beauty of it. Oh, and just Especially like that. That's the beauty of it. You can get these early percent kills uh, as Snake, but you can also get to close to 200 as we've seen MVD do multiple times now. Okay, and those down air, I think if, if every hit of that down air from Snake hits, it's like 31%. It's an incredible amount, and Salem has really shown an affinity for that, both at Nimbus and now here today. All right, a lot of up smashes coming here. Of course, you can't get by your own up smash. It's a really good tool for Snake. A lot of coverage on both sides from him. Do you know if it's uh, if it's random if the up smash lands in front of you or behind you? I actually believe the longer the charge, the further it's you know, in front of you. That's why you see it as an edge guard tool oh, there, it, because it, it can go off stage and stay on stage. Because the, as, the, as it goes higher, the arc and the angle changes. All right, back throw from Salem. Nikita, can you guess? He, oh, he didn't go for the dash tech there. He almost guessed the trajectory right. But it's, like I said, it's so hard to guess where Snake's going to be in that bubble. MVD snapping to the ledge. His own dash tech now. Up smash, jab, jab, jab into an up smash combo. Easy 40% right there. Speaking Two grenades. Infinity, we've seen Salem very, very confident in his use of up tilt in this game as well. Was able to net quite a few stocks against some of the best players in Nimbus and trying to get one against MVD here with it. Compared to the first game, MVD being much more patient here. He's not taking any chances right there. He knows Salem is very accurate with what he hits. And no answer to Salem just down throwing him and letting him choose his own poison. Trying to read an option there. Doesn't get anything off of it, but now he knows he just needs to get one more grab and that's a stock. All right. And of course, if you get a grenade and shield, it, land, it, it lands a grenade right in front of you. Both characters now at very high percent. MVD barely missing Nikita. Canceling the Nikita over top of him, too, covering him. Oh! Snipe in the bubble! American Sniper. That was that was basically a ballsy read, but he got it. Let's we'll see what we got here. This is twice now we've seen these oh. early combos, early kills from uh, MVD. MVD. Living these incredibly high percents. Yeah. MVD actually should have been dead there, but it looks like Salem whiffed his punish on it. There's the B reverse off the up B again. Salem, wow, able to land his own Nikita, but unfortunately it was only during a downfall. Air dodge again, MVD, 199%, 210, we're still living. Oh, okay, I, I jinxed it, but he's Finally. dead now. Now we've seen the early percent combos from Salem be incredibly strong, netting himself quite a bit of damage. See how MVD tries to counteract that and just really hold on to this lead. I haven't seen too many C4 kills, but it might be the key here. Wow, grenade to Nikita. MVD with full-on assault, completely different from game one. Of course, Snake won't die until like 1.30, oh, unless, bad. of course, bad. unless, of course. Oh, my God. Is he going to live? No way. C4, Say, oh. 5%. Yeah, and I feel like that's why that mechanic was put into this game. Bringing Snake back, you have to have a threshold to where you cannot C4 back, or else you're able to just circle camp underneath stages like that. Who here remembers the Brawl days where you could C4? Yeah, of course. I see you, Seabrick. Further and yeah. further and further, higher and higher and higher in this game, of course. It's going to really cap out about 135-ish. Yeah. Around 2008, I actually dropped Melee for a few months to play Brawl exclusively, and I, I saw some of the most ridiculous setups in that game, including Snake c 4 himself underneath FD at 300%. Some over, amazing over, stuff could happen. Over again. Yeah. And, and <laughs> in this game, a little more balance, a little more 
fixes in place to make sure that your option choosing is exactly what it has to be and not getting away with some crazy stuff. But we're at, we see right now a 1-1 one, one snake ditto. These two are very evenly matched. Absolutely. No one's been able to get that kill streak up. No one's got the tactical new on deck yet. We're going to see Yoshi's Island Brawl here. A lot of vertical space, or excuse me, horizontal space, but the grenades are going to cover so much of that. And this game, of course, they took away Snake's down smash. Snake used to have a Claymore down smash, which was yet another explosive, which led to I don't know how many more combinations of bomb combos. Right now, Salem getting an easy 71 on MVD, but two grenades, three actually from MVD coming out to even it out. Oh, there we go. Up air, what? Dude, what? Sequence there. Yes. What the kill? Into the up air. Up air with a huge amount of knockback, and Yoshi's Island Brawl with tied for the smallest ceiling. That was the earliest kill we've seen all set so far. And right now, MVD staying at 101. So much damage output from this character. Snake is just happy to stay and throw as many explosives, even hurting himself in the process. But it's worth it for the kill. A down throw into a grenade. And now Salem desperately trying to get his own kill here. This is where things are really going to swing into MVD's favor. How many times have we seen him live? Oh! 200. Not going to be able to do it here, but as these stocks continue to stretch, I feel like that's going to favor him more and more. He actually followed MVD down with that up beat. Waiting I for again. Dude, that up air, the, the, the knockback on that up air is devastating. It's absurd. MVD only at 48%, but dangerously close to that blast zone after that up air. All righty, Salem now trying to edge guard. Great air dodge through Nikita, avoiding both bombs. And that dash dot coming out so quick. C4 this close to killing, but it's not quite enough. Oh, man, that up tilt out of running so strong. Killing Snake at, I think, 105% from the ground. I'm sure every Snake Man thankful, Snake Man thankful for the fact that he can do that out of dash now. Great, great mechanic. Grenades coming in here now. MVD will he air dodge. Just opting to snap right to the ledge. Safe moves again. Nikita going very, go low. very low. This is wow. MVD went just low enough to avoid that. And now it's Salem's turn. Can he get the old edge guard here? Oh, Using we see him go high with the cypher there. Oh, oh my god. Great tech. Heck, what in the world? Salem, great aiming of that Nikita. And now it's one stock apiece. It's 1-1. One, one. Who's going to take the set lead here? We see MVD with center stage. Nikita's in the wrong direction, but doesn't give up center for it. Waiting very, very patiently. <laughs> Both players so cautious right now. <laughs> There's so many grenades. See the down smash there from MBD. Doesn't really get anything off it. We see the first interaction there. Dash attack and now F tilt for Salem. That 37 built up. As that dash attack puts you in such a bad angle. That's why it's so useful. MBD trying to use that, that C4. Barely missing it. But the grenades didn't work anyway. And now Salem at 92%. That down throw. Avoiding the first grenade about the second. Be very, very careful, Salem. He's at kill percent. MVD happy to stay here while Salem whiffs a nair. The problem is he has to find a way down. Oh! Oh my gosh. Careful, SpongeBob. Interesting, the up tilt not reaching the, cent the center platform because of the dip in the middle of Yoshi's Island Brawl. All right, dash attack. Salem at 133. So many chances to kill, but MVD missing them. The intangible in the dash check allows Salem to oh. get the initial hit, but the grenade's still exploding. Grenades have. Oh. Oh! <laughs> Ron, Nikita, hold on. Will Sal take it? Aims it. Going high again. MVD air down to the platform. The up tilt. Oh my gosh, what a clutch up tilt from Salem. He found that amidst all the chaos. We saw that at the beginning of stock three there. MVD having a little bit of difficulty getting down off that platform. Platform movement a little bit trickier, a little bit stickier in this game. Salem taking full advantage with that up tilt. And now Salem one match away from entering winner's finals. And I believe he's gone all snake this tournament? Yes, absolutely. And this would probably be, I would feel, the biggest upset so far of the day. You know, we talk about how strong MBD is, really championing this character. The Japanese believe Snake is actually a mid to low tier character. It's just the fact that MBD is so good is what makes him seem so much better. Uh, I'll have to sit down with the Japanese players because I refuse I agree. to believe I agree. that. You can't have a character with this damage output, with this much mix up and recovery, with this just sneaky play and honestly, like the, how quickly the, the kill moves come out, like up tilt or even the up smash or Nikita. It just doesn't, it just doesn't seem like a low tier trade to me. Now game four, we're going to find ourselves on Kalos. I expected this stage to come out sometime during this set. The amount of space that you have to really work out your chessboard as either snake tries to get advantage and tries to get in. And of course, Kalos, I believe, has the largest horizontal plus stage that there is. So it's a lot of space for Snake to move around. A lot of more option choosing now that Snake has. Where am I going to place my C4? A forward air to spike him down, but it wasn't enough. Yeah, we potentially could see both of these snakes live to incredible oh! percent. 
The jump Nikita. Oh, and they the get him again. Around. He does catch from the flip side, and now a down smash. He covered the high, he covered the low. MVD is wherever you go. And that's what's so good about this stage. The mortar explosion gonna cover the jump. He was charging down smash for either get up or roll. Salem's own up smash right there, not quite killing MVD. Snapping to the ledge. He's only at 45 here, 67. Not very good play there, because he ended up hurting himself, but before he came down, nice auto cancel up tilt. Evening up the match once again. Yeah, and we see only 68% on Salem. Very capable of closing this gap. But wow. MVD with the continued pressure right now. MVD seems to have been doing a lot better, a lot more comfort in this big space. It looks like Salem actually wants to be in his face. He's so much better at using those aerials. But MVD seems to have the advantage in where he picks his long range explosives. And right now, Salem catching his own full hit Nair. 24% off that. Nikita will kill. So close. So quickly was he able to even out this match. The dash is going to miss with the up smash for insurance covers everything. See another Nikita here. What's he going to go for? Potentially another up tilt kill. Step forward. Another F tilt. Oh, another F tilt. Where the tilts up smash Nikita grenade. You pick the way you want to die. And now MVD takes the lead on this game four. He has to win this. Salem, he has to get some kind of X credit here. But Nikita's going to do the work. And now Salem, out this winner's semis point, just needs one more stock right here. One more smart play. And we've seen MVD use this space to an advantage, retreating to that back platform, trying to just use the projectiles to build up. You said it just briefly ago, how good Salem has seemed in close quarters combat. MVD now opting to stay below that platform. He says, I know where my grenades can go. I know you have to jump eventually. Great parries right now. Very, very patient play. Throwing his own Nair. And now once again, MVD whiffing the grab. Both players in the air for a bit, double explosives. Yeah, we see either player just on top of each other, neither really committing to an option. Oh. We see the drop there. And these snakes are tangled within one another, trying to use their own grenades now. Salem, <laughs> Salem starting to build a small lead here. 30% separate the players. They're both afraid to get into each other's faces. They're waiting for one good explosive so they can start their chains. As usual, Emity gets the first one. Salem recovers. Reverse Nikita might have been a whiff. Rolling backwards, but right after the bomb explodes. And now a dash attack. Small percent lead here for Salem. MVD gets the last hit of that jab into a parry. Only a grenade out of shield to punish. Up smash first now. Gets a good grab. Will he get the edge guard? Look at this even percent. Gets a double hit of F tilt. Off the stage once again. Oh! C4 is oh, going to do wow. it. Wow. MVD adapting once again. Ladies and gentlemen, we have a game five situation. That the final sequence was beautiful. The up smash mortar covering Salem's initial position. The C4 sitting silently at roll length. So the most explosive smart. snake battle you could ask for, which begs the question, who is the garter snake and who is the anaconda here? Who is going to actually run away with this and face off against Mute Ace in our winner's final? Once again, both players discussing now. It's a ditto, so stage choices in a ditto don't matter quite as much. It really comes down to a player preference because textbook, the matchup is exactly 50-50. Whatever advantage you have, you also give to your opponent. The comfort so far has definitely been the size, though. We've seen MVD looking really, really strong when he has enough space to really get pushed Salem away. And when Salem's able to close that gap, it's made such a difference in this matchup. And we saw Salem hover over Yoshi's story. For a second, I thought we were going to get some shenanigans, but it looks like he instead opted to go to Pokemon Stadium too, keeping it classic. No shenanigans here. Equal stage, equal ledges, equal platforms. It comes down to right now, who is better at closing out a Game 5 set? MVD pumping himself up, and here we go. Both grenades coming out. <laughs> Frame one of the match. Why do anything else? You see MVD initially take the ground here. Both players able to get down almost immediately, though. Air doesn't come back on. That forward tilt used to be a kill move over in Brawl. Now it serves as a kill move, but only at much higher percents. Wow, too explosive. MVD already at 70. His okay. initial stock, I think, is going to make a huge impact on this game five. Right. In a couple of sequences so far throughout this entire set where either player is able to stretch their lead, if we see someone take a stock with, with low damage on their own, it really can almost seal the fate so early. Dash tech does so much mileage right here. 
My MVD knows. I mean, snakes at any given point, it seems like the majority of the matches are over 100%. So it's nothing you're not already expecting. And MVD, great read right there. So I'm trying to catch him with a low C4, and MVD responded with a fat up air to his face. But he's still only at 81%. MVD looking a little closer to kill percent right here. I'm not sure if up tilt's what I can do it, but now it will. Salem already waiting for that up tilt, missing it. MVD waiting here, his own grenade using his own defensive shield. Pushing into the stage a little more, but Salem happy to stand the platform. Grenade below for insurance up there, up tilt whiffing once again. Who's going to get the first kill here? And that's what makes this matchup so unique, is that typically when you put yourself in the corner, you're going to put yourself in a bad situation. But Snake of all characters with a grenade in hand, very comfortable taking that defensive spot. They are just keeping like a 10 meter distance from one another. They, they're just saying, I don't want to get in there. Salem has an 80% lead right now. No reason for him to Going approach. High again. And that up tilt is going to cover this platform. Yeah. He has to be incredibly careful. I think Sims depending on the up tilt a little too much. MVD is waiting for it every single time. Has shielded it every time so far. Grenades clashing. He blew himself up. 176. The, At this point, even a grenade might kill MVD. The problem with that shield, though, on that up tilt, if Salem reads it, the grab will kill him. Ooh! Back airing through the up smash, through the fire and the flames. You have the first stock right here. 108 for Salem. He needs about 20 more, per more percent for an up tilt or a reliable down smash to kill. Whoa! <laughs> C4 is going to do it. Even percent stock two now. I like how everything blew up at the same time right there. So we're going to see this is dead even. Game five, two stocks apiece. Consistent pressure here from Salem. 40 to 10 at the moment. Going to get the F tilt out of shield into the grenade as well. Between these two players, it's hard to even say who is more familiar with a super high pressure situation where you need to play perfectly. And we've seen, obviously, Salem Evo winner in Smash 4. But MVD, of course, such a patented great snake. But oh. Salem, just as he comes down, finds that up tilt on MVD. And all of a sudden, MVD on his last stock of winners. Oh, we see the dare here building damage. But Salem now with control of stage. MVD taking it back almost immediately. The Cypher oh. high. High Cypher, he wanted to find something there. Salem coming down with an up air. Great parry, side tilt once again, but Salem's only at 107. That uh, F-Tilt gonna build up a pretty yeah. decent amount of damage, though, getting him closer and closer to some pretty consistent kills for MVD. MVD just trying to put on a little bit of extra damage. Run up, F-Tilt. Going for high risk moves, but the style right here. Nikita going right through Salem, it wasn't enough. He can't take another kill. He has to stay above or below 130 right here to stay safe. The struggle is now Salem has complete control of center. Multiple up smashes oh, taking man. more and more damage now. 78, 81. With every passing second, he's going to kill. MVD inches closer to his own demise. He's waiting right here, shielding both explosives. He's waiting, but Salem putting up such a good protective shield of explosives all and around him. It's and the up tilt will do it. Salem. 107, the height of Pokemon wow. Stadium. With 123 raids, Salem finds himself in winner's bracket. MVD losing to, or moving to loser's quarters now. Still in the tournament, but in loser's bracket.